Hello my friends and welcome back to uh, Sanctus Reach Grim Darkness, it is episode 11. I'm really enjoying this game. It is time for some of these random skirmishes. We have Hollow Hills, Imperial Fortress and Arid Woods. Or Acid Woods, maybe? Acid Woods. Not really sure what Acid Woods are, but you know. All the original skirmishes were Acid Woods, so I guess that's like an easy kind. Right, let's start with Hollow Hills, shall we? Why not? We know that these missions are totally and utterly randomly generated. So we could get anything. <clears throat> we could get the mysteries of life. We could get the mysteries of why the RNG system is so bad. <laughs> okay. It's just an open map. It is an open map in which much slaughter is meant to occur. Four thousand points. Damn. <clears throat> oh wait, I completed that special objective. Um You know, capture that ammo depot. I don't really feel like it actually did anything. I wish there was some sort of help system in this game that actually told me exactly what these abilities do. Right, let's take some dreads. I'm not really a big fan of Thunder Hammer Terminators. They're exceedingly powerful, but they're melee only. I'm not sure how great that is against hordes of orcs. Terminators. Wow, look at all the Swift Claw squadrons. And they all come with all specs for free. That might be very useful, actually. Let's bring the flamers for once. Get the flamer. The heavy flamer. <clears throat> Land speeders. I've actually used these land speeders quite a bit. So they're actually quite close to leveling up. It might be quite useful to actually bring one or two. Not really sure how I feel about these attack buggies. Let's bring the heavy flamer terminators. Because I have no idea what I'm going to be dealing with. Bring a land speeder to control the high ground. And I'm shocked that these these terminators, heavy flamer terminators, are uh, <clears throat> are so inexpensive. Uh, 
Um, ah, decisions. Agonizing decisions. I don't know what I'm up against. That's the problem. Let's bring along this Blood Claw pack, the one with the healing. Just in case I need it. Alright, I get a deployment phase. Eleven turns. The winner will be the person who controls this spot. Seems simple enough. Heavy flamers. Well, they need to be close to actually do anything. Let's put them behind this debris. Cliff there, cliff there, and sort of cliff here. Okay, I do not need two sets of flamers in the same place. Let's put one over here. One over here. In fact, we'll move the bolt of team behind cover and move the flamers up. <clears throat> okay, that hopefully doesn't put me too close to the front line that I get absolutely hammered on the first turn. We got movement! How dare you. Okay. That was easy enough. Now, these boys have got stalker sight. Hmm. Yeah, as usual, I have no idea just how much stuff they're going to have. Heavy Flamer Terminators, but they can't get close enough yet. Oh! I put on detailed mode. This is actually quite helpful. Knobs. Let's get rid of some knobs. One kill against such a tough unit is really good. Uh, 
Uh, yep, let's do this. We gotta get out of here. The good thing about picking off single uh, knobs like that is then when you go at them with bolter weapons, you uh, focus fire on just one or two. Looks like there just aren't any enemies around this area. Ouch. Well, there's a double helping of ouch. It does not appear that there are many enemies here. Out of range. Oh, not out of range. Might as well. Flame team, go! Sadly, too far away for them to do anything right now. Oh, nice! They are just about in range. <clears throat> Nothing sucks away the enemy's morale like a flamer. Any shots from here? Yes, even though this is a weird shot that should never happen, but I have it apparently. Wow, I still have this shot. <laughs> Good work. Go! Deliberately shooting through the enemy. Sort of an interesting way to do splash damage. We got Ouch. Out of here. Okay, we're damaging these wrecks quite a lot, which is good. Important to clean away the cover. All right, that's it. They're all dead. Clear that garbage off my point. We will hunt them down. The perfect use for a scout force is to constantly heal my dudes. Oh, Jesus. The ore specs reveals that the filth is just hiding out of range. But not far enough away to uh, to not be terrified by the amount of damage they just took. Wonder if I could hit from there. Uh, range seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Get those boys off that hill. You 
They cannot be allowed the high ground. I will not underestimate their powers. Oh yeah, that hurt. Alright, all good. Come get me. As long as I haven't got any artillery or anything, I should be good. Ouch! Oh! <laughs> Probably didn't want to run into that crossfire. <laughs> Not that orcs really care. Man, these boys are getting wrecked. Nice try. Um, that did not go well for the orcs there. <laughs> Wrecked. 50% chance to hit the burner boys. They're not going to get down off that hill, to be honest. They can't really do anything from there, so I'll go for the shooters instead. Nice. Not an unreasonable amount of damage there. Combi scorchers, too far away. These, fl these flamer dudes could get close, but if they got close, they would leave themselves highly vulnerable. <clears throat> that is the big problem with flamers and why they're so cheap. Their short range precludes anything fancy. Seventy per cent. Fifty. Nice. Ah, there's some knobs here. I actually have a heavy flamer. I'll use this one to do heavy flaming over here. Look at this. This is a beautiful shot. I'm not taking any risks by doing this either. the flame and terminators here they are burn them do 
Oh, that hurt. Got a leader, we got a can. Let's go. Picking off everything that's dangerous. That was good. Let's shoot through at these shooters here just to also possibly claim them. Nope. Grenade? Probably doesn't reach far enough. Frag out. He's dying. Oh, the flamer team. We wouldn't really be taking much risk here either. It's a nice day for a barbecue. Now the problem is we've left loads of units with just hardly any health. Oh! Easiest kill on a team of knobs ever, because they're facing the wrong way. Brutal. Inferno ammo. I think I already have Inferno ammo. Yeah. I guess it doesn't stack, so I guess I'll just grab... Grab the mantle instead. Nice! I got a kill and I still managed to get some damage on this knob. My uh, my medic team, my suture team, storm bolter terminators. Onward. Ninety-five percent chance to hit. Ah, uh, it's got really heavy armor. And I only have it anti infantry ammo. Death to those who oppose the We dying. Ouch. Forty percent chance to hit and we go through these boys to get to them, so I might kill this slugger team here. Not bad. Alright. If the orcs have the old war ability, they'll almost certainly use it next turn. But hopefully I've crippled enough of their, their key units that they're not going to be doing anything special. I'm a little bit concerned about this side. I think there's a lot of enemies here. And a lot less of me. But I'm not willing to push my flamers up first. I'd rather the enemy come forward and I barbecue them. Flamer teams are quite weak. Okay. 
Okay, this is a bolter team, but it doesn't seem to have a shot on anything. Oh, except them. It's another one of these moments where the line of sight system makes no sense. This is meant to provide cover to a to a team that's behind it. So in theory, I should have a, sh a shot on these. I guess they're just out of range. <clears throat> right, this is my special... My, uh my land speeder that I use for uh, interdiction. Slugger knobs on a hill. Hmm. I don't want to move forward too much. I don't want to get involved with these. They can't get down from there. I'll deal with them later. Alright, let's see how much they can punish me. Ouch. Lol. <laughs> One HP. <laughs> Ouch. Oof. Do you really want to run into that? Do you really? Oh, nasty. <laughs> That guy was turned into orcish bits. Although, orcs are meant to be like... fungus or something. So maybe it's better to say that they were turned into corn or something. Okay. I see our friend the uh... the orcish psyker is up to no good. Maybe I can just el eliminate him. Oh man, they're just doing damage to themselves. Fail. The fail continues. Okay, so, I don't know what this is, the weird boy, I thought they wrote these out of the canon, I take it healing bomb does not work on vehicles. But I'm curious and want to test it. If not, I'll heal the Terminators. Yeah, can't heal vehicles. We will hunt them down. I knew you wouldn't be able to, sort of, 
in my heart of hearts I knew, but some games are a bit silly and let you heal things just no matter what. Oh yeah, get some flame! Get some purge, boys! Welcome to blindness. Heavy Flamer Terminator. Go! Spare the flame, spoil the orc! Oh, nice! Twenty HP regen, <clears throat> which is not really that great. Or extra melee capability, which is also not really that great. Although it is their only weapon against heavily armored things. Let's go with the melee ability. We's dying. There may potentially be a time when I need to uh, have those boys use their power fists. Right, I'm gonna do something about this killer can. 105% chance to hit. Go for it. Okay, that wasn't very good. Pain boy, what the hell is a pain boy? No idea. I don't want it to live though. I'll fix that. Just gonna chop it off. Don't want the weird boy to live either. So I've tagged them both with my stalker shot. Metal Storm, Hellfire Ammo, Inferno Ammo, suffering from a serious shortage of ammo that would actually penetrate a killer can. I want to move these guys up, but I can't. Without risking the can opening up a can of whoop ass. Um. Move that back and I can move that forward. Alright, I guess someone's taking the shot. Might as well be my Devastator team. Wow, I can hit him from here? Jesus. Get rid of the knobs. Nice. That's a big important unit that they just lost. It's 
So I'm going to shoot the can, and um, it should hurt. And hopefully some of my shots go through these guys. Ouch. A bit more. Nearly. Alright, I guess I need to kill these boys. They're just in the way. Alright, the can cannot move forward. He is too afraid. So that's fine. That flank is okay now. Let's deal with this mess over here. And I still got these two to take down, but I have tagged them. And I know just the unit to get the job done. Oh yeah, I bet that hurt. Oh, look at all the psychic feedback. Oh man, that's amazing! Oh, that's beautiful. They're totally ruined. One. Good kill. 80% chance to hit them. 80% chance to hit that. 80% chance to hit them. Let's go for these. A kill. Ooh, anti-tank ammo. Half heat damage. I don't know if the orcs get any, like, melter guns or uh, plasma-type anti-tank weapons. I'm pretty sure it's, like, crack rockets and, and trying to punch them. <laughs> Let's go for the anti-tank ammo. Sounds good to me. Man, that psychic damage has uh, really, really put the hurt on them. Forwards! Let's get rid of these combi scorchers. Ah, uh, it's not a good shot. Well, I'm glad that these boys all took massive psychic feedback, because that makes me feel a lot better about this mob of units. Nice. Seems like this aura reduces your chance to hit with ranged weapons. But it should dissipate with the death of the uh, the weird boy. Okay. Tacticals. Ouch. 
Retreat like. Retreat to the grave. Ouch. Well, they fixed their morale problem. Well, that was a fail. Oh, nice kill. These kills, like, ruin morale for the, the orcs as well. Nice try. We still have a number of threatening units left, but... I'm not sure they'll even get one kill now. Tell you one thing for free. They haven't done anything to the flamer unit that I thought that they would go for. Oh, now they've now they've noticed it. There's gonna be a great barbecue next turn. Ouch. Ouch some more. Wow, it's a bit much to expect to win these missions without taking any losses whatsoever. My turn. Oof. <laughs> you want to fight in melee? Let's fight in melee. See if my venerable dreadnought gives the slightest shit. Oh. <laughs> it's just a scratch, boss. <laughs> I don't have many units that can do serious damage to a uh, to a battle wagon, but that is one of them. Oh, that's like a weird lag going on right now. Oh, nearly. Sweet, nearly got them both. Go. Shame about the uh, the losses here. This unit is really weakened. Can I reach them, the flamer? Nice. There goes two enemies. All right, cool. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay. Not bad. Tangle grenade. Not really very useful. 
I guess this is the only unit I have that's capable of hurting this battle wagon. Let's go for it. Alright, it's not that great. Okay, that's the morale on them broken. Oh, nearly. It's more like the storm bolter to finish the job. Yeah, why not? Okay, I don't know if there's anything just tucked in the corner here, but if there is, it can't be. Can't be that much of an issue. Uh, if only I could free the this unit from this wreck. Ten HP. Nice kill. Okay. We've squeezed them into a box. Now the time has come to apply the flame. Oh, that hurt. This is gonna hurt more. Oh, look at the damage. Outrageous. Look at the morale damage. <laughs> They're completely ruined. <laughs> right, let's get rid of these boys on the hill. Oof. This is the team with uh, the metal storm ammo and hellfire at the same time. Nice. Void Shield, which will keep a fragile unit a little bit alive a little bit longer. Or, of course, the deadly Hellfire ammunition. There are better ammunitions out there, so let's take the Void Shield and let's see if we actually get offered better ammo next time. Alright, so this unit trapped up here in the corner is, I think, the only unit they have left that is not currently suffering from a panic attack. Oh! <laughs> that is kind of a bit ridiculous. Right, I don't think this will do any damage, but uh, it does do morale damage. A lot of morale damage, even to a killer can. So even though it couldn't do any real damage to the can, it's uh, broken its morale and thus prevented it from doing anything next turn. Oh, where's my healing team? Oh, it's on cooldown. How unhelpful. Might as well get rid of the wreck. Free my unit.
Let's see, what is left? These combi scorchers have not got broken morale. Well, now they're dead, so I think we can consider their morale to be broken. <laughs> uh. All right, that did nothing. Um. There's nothing really to shoot at. Thanks to this weird aura move, I my ranged weapons are not effective. Sixty percent chance to hit those boys in the corner. Just shoot through this lot. He's dying. Bullet sponges. Okay, we're good. Go for it, orcs. But they already used their wah power, so they cannot repair. Cannot repair their morale. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh, that sounded like a TV dying. <laughs> as if they've got full morale. I don't understand. They somehow fix their morale. Yeah, look, they're just running in like they've got full morale. I find this very odd. Oh well. Just means I'm going to take some extra losses. Very weird. Okay, that's like a melter gun there. I don't... I still don't get how they're attacking like they've got full morale though. Oof. I hear like a weird noise in the background as well. Very strange. Okay, we're fine. that weird noise in the background. Alright, I found it. 
That was weird. Okay, so... Somehow, the orcs all recovered their morale completely. Not the biggest deal, because I was thrashing them so hard, but... It certainly made things a little bit more messy for me. I just don't understand how it happened. Because they already used that stupid wah ability to uh, repair their morale, so I don't understand how they could repair it a second time. But, you know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Shoot him in the back. Heal. Seventy five percent chance to hit. What are the odds? Yep, I'll have that accuracy bonus, please. Get wrecked. Death to the green skins. Continue to put the squeeze on them. I just don't understand how they recovered their morale. That's the... You know, that's the kind of thing that causes a campaign to go very wrong. When you don't understand why stuff like that happens. Nice. What about here? Also quite nice. Apply the flame. Medium damage potential. Go for it. Eh. That wasn't so great, was it? Ooh, Kraken Penetrator ammo. I forgot about this. 85% chance to hit. Beautiful. Crack grenade. Where you gotta get out of here? Cleanse. Arch. Kill. Ah, it's just one dude. Fist him. That's the uh, that's the adult video 
the Inquisition would not tell you about. <laughs> Get him! Nice! Yes! Anti-tank ammo. That's what we want. Ooh, yeah, that makes a difference. Once again, Orcish morale is in a pit somewhere. The Mega Blaster. That's what he's got. Just soften up the uh, the knobs a bit. Huh, weird that I have a shot on them. But not the can. I mean, you know, whatever, the damage is done, but still. Okay, so once again, I've completely broken the morale of what's left of the orcs. Let's hope that they stay that way this time. Damn, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Brutal. No retreat allowed. Okay. I feel like this game is getting easier the more war gear I have. The more upgrades. Some of these ammunition types are just allowing me to do outrageous damage. Stalker Sight, Hellfire Ammo, Metal Storm Ammo, it's like... Orc Vaporizing Kit. Someone really needed to normalize the sound in this game, I must admit. Jesus, 7,400 BVs worth of kit. I lost one infantry unit. I turned down the sound before just because the extra loud shooty noises were driving me bonkers. Let's turn it down even more. Okay, so that's one of the skirmishes down. That was pretty easy, to be honest. We have an Imperial Fortress skirmish, which is a type that we've not seen before. So that will be interesting. And Acid Woods again, which was the 
the first kind that we ever encountered. And then we have our next story mission. Which I hope would be quite quite interesting. So we have uh, two skirmishes, a story mission, three skirmishes, no, four skirmishes. Skirmish Goth Town, so that's going to be a new kind of skirmish. Then another story mission, three more skirmishes, which are all Goth Town, and then Goth Town itself. So it's a short, it's a short game, or short campaign. There are some more campaigns that come with the game though, so I mean if people like them I can always do other campaigns, but this is it for now. I hope you enjoyed it, I'm enjoying it, and uh, we'll get these two skirmishes done and move on to the, uh, the next story mission, and I will see you guys next time.